Hello. Today's November 10th, 2020, and a couple days ago, Mossungsoft lost all my trust. Just about two months prior to the creation of this video, I put out a video where I talked about a response I got on Mossungsoft's global support page. While I had very little hope of getting any sort of response from them, I thought I'd give it a shot in the first place because nothing was happening otherwise. And to my surprise, I did get a response. But it was short-lived, as they've now removed their comments from the thread, and have lost any remaining trust I had in this company. If you don't know about Masungsoft, or you're new to the guns community and don't know why this company is important or relevant, Masungsoft is a company that buys out the rights to old, dead games and gives them servers. Whether it's by hosting it themselves or selling licenses to international partners to distribute their games. I can't speak on behalf of the communities of the other games that Masungsoft develops, publishes, and distributes, but I think I can for the guns community. This company won't do anything else other than re-release the game with some minor UI changes, which is exactly what we saw happen with K-Guns when Masungsoft originally acquired the copyright to Guns and Guns 2, and they've done very little ever since, if anything. Private servers in terms of feature development are way farther ahead, and are capable of putting a better product out there for the player base. In fact, they have been for several years now. I personally can't say that I'm hyped for Steam Guns, nor am I expecting for it to release anytime soon. It's clear that their priorities are elsewhere, but that's fine. The private server experience is great, so long as you play on servers that you know are safe. If you don't want to play Guns unless it's from an officially licensed company hosting servers, then that's your decision. If you do want to play on private servers, or you already do, because this is especially going out to the people who are playing the game right now, just make sure you're playing on a private server that you trust. Do your research, join guns.chat, and get in there, and start talking with the players. Outside of a few specific private server owners, most private server devs are in the guns chat discord server. You can either ask players or the devs themselves about their server. There's multiple X and current F-Guns coders in this Discord who worked with the F-Guns code, who can easily verify that they've never done anything malicious. If you want to get into guns, but you're afraid of a rootkit or a rat when you're playing on private servers, or if you're a person who already plays the game, and you don't know anything about the server you're playing on, then I urge you to please go through the effort of trying to learn about the servers that people play on and the people who host and develop them. If you've gotten this far into the video and you want to see more of me, check me out on Twitch. I stream a few times a week, so if you ever want to hop in and chat with me, follow me there and catch my streams. Uh, I also have a Twitter account where I tweet random shit and memes because I don't know what else to do with my Twitter account. Um, I do have uh, other things coming for this YouTube channel as well, so keep an eye out. Oh yeah, and I made a Discord server. Join it.